Hello, welcome everyone. Today we're going to go over the hosted PPX auto attendant. So this is actually setting up and configuring your auto attendant and getting it set up. So we're going to go over this guide right here. This guide's found on our logics.com website. This is the guide we'll be going over. So the first thing that you'll want to do is go ahead and go to the myphone.mylogics.com portal. You'll want to log in as an admin so you have access to the group tab. After you get logged in, we are then going to be looking at the auto attendant. So you can go ahead and open up your auto attendant, and you see it has a public telephone number and an extension. Now, before we configure this, the one thing that we are going to need to do is record the announcement that's played for the auto attendant. So this is a message that basically usually says, you know, thank you for calling company XYZ, press one for this, press two for that. That's the recording that we're going to need to record. Now, the easiest way that I have found to let customers know how to record it is to go get the Broadsoft Recorder app. So this is an app you can go download from the Google Play Store, or you can go download it from the iPhone Store. But it's a very simple app that you go download. You're able to add recordings. You're able to record it. And then you're able to email it to yourself. And once you get it emailed to yourself, you can then add it into the announcement repository. So if we go ahead and open up the announcement repository, you see we already have some WAV files in here. But what you can do is you can click Add. You can type in your announcement. You can choose your file and save. And then once you have your audio file in here, then you can go ahead and add it to the auto attendant. Now, in addition to the adding the announcement, the other thing that you'll want to do is set up your time schedule. So you want to set up your business hours. So you can open this up. Generally, in the, under the business hours, you can set up your business hours. So we just usually click Add, and you can type in business hours. And go ahead and click Save, Add an Event. And then this is how you set up your hours. So let's say we're open Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. So I will do Monday through Friday. Now your start and end times, I would always go ahead and just choose today's date on that. So it will auto adjust, but just to make it fill in, choose today's date. And then reoccurs. This I like to set to weekly. And we are open from 8 a.m., so 08 colon 00, and it's a.m. And we close at 0500 p.m. And this reoccurs every one week. And it happens on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and it never ends. And so I go and click Save. That's our Monday through Friday. And let's just say Saturday, we're going to add a Saturday in there. Let's say we're open from 8 to noon on Saturday. So we'll add another event. We'll label this one Saturday. And once again, choose today's date for both start and end. And then an all-day event. We're not going to select because it's not all day. It reoccurs weekly. And this reoccurs. We are open from 8 o'clock a.m to 12 o'clock p.m. So from 8 a.m. to 12 noon, and this occurs every Saturday and reoccurs every one week, save. So there's our Monday through Friday. Let's save the schedule. Now we have our business hours in there. Now we can go set up our auto attendant. So go ahead and open up the auto attendant. See it has a public telephone number and extension. We're gonna click edit. You can give the auto attendant a name, give it a caller ID name, set up your call zone. This is where you set up your business hours. So let's go do business hours too. These next two options are the scope of extension dialing and name dialing. So if you have an actual enterprise with multiple locations, you'd want to choose enterprise so it could search all locations. If you choose group, it will only choose this location and that's it. So then we have two prompts. So we have business hours and after hours. So business hours is what people will hear when it's business hours. After hours, they will hear what's not business hours, so outside of this time, and whatever you set for your holidays. So let's go look at one of them. Let's go look at business hours. We'll open that up. In here, you can change it from the standard greeting to the custom greeting. So after you've uploaded your file, you can choose your file here. Enable first level extension dialing. This allows the user to dial an extension number at any time. So if you ever have in your message, you know, please 
if you know the part of your extension, please dial it any time. That's what allows this. If they uncheck this, they can only choose the options that are down here. So if you don't have this selected, they cannot dial the extension right away. Now down here is where you actually set up what happens when the users press 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. The description is just for you, just so you can remember what you're doing on this option. The action is actually what happens. So let's go and click on one, and I'll run through all the actions. So exit, that will basically just exit out of the system. That will hang up on the user. Extension dialing, that takes them to a menu that says, you know, please dial your party's extension. Name dialing, that takes them to a sub-menu that says, please dial the last name of your party. Play announcement. This allows you to then choose an announcement you've uploaded to maybe, you know, a lot of people use this for like hours and directions. So, you know, they'll say press one for hours and directions, and then they'll have an audio file there giving them the directions and hours to the location. Repeat menu, that's going to repeat the menu. Transfer to mailbox, that's going to transfer the call to the voicemail system. Transfer to operator, this will transfer it to a particular extension, whatever you choose. But this is also the default operation. So if nobody presses anything within 10 seconds, it will automatically take this action. So if you want a default action, the action transferred operator will be your default action. And then you have transfer with and without prompt. And that basically will just send them to whatever you want. It could be a cell phone number, if you want to put a cell phone number in. It could be an extension, if you want it to be an extension. It could be a direct dial to voicemail. So star five five, and then the extension number that will send it directly to the voicemail for 4001. It could be whatever you want to put in here. And with and without prompt, basically we'll either say, you know, we're, we'll transfer your party to whatever name they have in the voicemail system. Without a prompt, it just transfers it without even saying anything. So after you make all your selections, you'll go down and click Save. That will save it. And then you can go ahead and set up your after hours. So your after hours could be a totally different message, totally different options. Maybe they all go to voicemail in this case here. And after you make your settings, go ahead and click Save, and now your auto attendant is set up. That concludes our hosted PBX auto attendant training. Thank you.